Oh, that smells so good. How you all doing, babies? My baby back, baby back, baby back, babies. That's what you all are. Use my babies. You miss me? Did you miss me? Normally I do like a video every day and I haven't done one in like three days. God. I've been slacking, you might say. Slacking. Now someone mentioned this one to me. And it kind of... Well... Brought something to heart. That I mentioned in the past. Well, no, I haven't mentioned in the past. Well, you know, it just brought something to heart. That some, some of the times I believe in it. Some of the times. You know, it's all the whole consumer world and things that we buy and things that we eat and stuff. And uh, someone mentioned that they get really fucked off. Really fucked off! Yes, that's right. I used obscene language. With bread. Yes, bread. The thing that we all, we all seem to eat, the thing that's always used, the price of bread. It's all about bloody bread, isn't it? It's never about, you know, oh, the price of chips has gone up today. No, 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 it's the essentials, apparently, which is milk and bread. Well, it's not an essential in my life, I tell you. <laughs> no. All they said is that they, they don't understand that to have a sandwich, you have to have two slices of bread. And so they give you this loaf, this big loaf, and then they cut it into all these things. It's like, oh, you have 24 slices. But then people are duped into it because 24 slices is only 12 sandwiches because you need two pieces of bread to make a sandwich. You can't just have a slice of bread by itself. It just doesn't make sense. And if you were to have one slice of bread, then you'd have uneven slices of bread in your bread, and then someone couldn't have a sandwich. So that slice of bread will disappear, you know, it'll be thrown away. What's the point? What's the point of that? Hello. Bloody things. If you want to have a bloody sandwich, get a roll. You can just cut it in half. That's all you need. Bloody people with their bread. You just throw a cigarette at me, you bastard. So yeah, fucking bread. And all that stuff that they put in bloody bread goes soggy. Soggy so No. Oh, oh, don't get me started on weird sandwiches. I go to a... Alright, I go to the supermarket and I just want a sandwich. I just want a normal sandwich. That's all I want. And it's like, here, I have mayonnaise. No, I have tomato ketchup in your sandwich. I don't want no fucking tomato ketchup. No fucking tomato ketchup. I just want a sandwich. I just want some flipping chicken. I want something nice. But no. It has to be something weird. Yeah, let's put some weird ass shit in your fucking sandwich and see how you feel about it. I'm going to go a slightly different way home today because this topic's a bit longer. Take a little bit more time. you got other things as well. It's so like all the different types of cheese you can get. And cheese strings. Bloody cheese strings! So, all right, kids, have some cheese. Let's make it fun. Let's turn it into strips that look like strings. What? No! Milk. I love milk. Milk's gorgeous. Sorry, that was a bit of a deviation there. Milk's amazing. Oh, I'm in the wrong lane. Hey, well, it doesn't matter, because I'm in a bike. I can't go wherever I want. <laughs> Not the same as cars. And their restrictions. Oh, no, I am. I, I am the same as cars. I'm just smaller, more nimble, and I can do whatever I want. So, really, I'm the same. Yeah. But, no. Bloody bread. <laughs> and you get thick slice. Thick slice?! Surely, a thick slice loaf of bread should be twice as big as a normal one. If you put a thick slice loaf of bread next to a normal one, look, you've got 12, sli you've got 12 sandwiches there, 24 slices. Thick slice, well, we've got, like, I don't know, eight. Same bloody price. Bloody ridiculous, <laughs> I think. It's a bloody rip-off. They get, you know, and you get, like, you get food, and they try to make it more interesting to the kids, and they put smiley faces on it, like BNBNs. You ever had a BN? It's like... Crazy. It's like, yeah, let's put a smiley face on it, kids will love it. That's the most horrific thing I've ever seen in my life. 
trying to convince children that food is happy for you to eat it. God, why is that car going? Thing on constantly. So, you, know, you know, happy food. It's like all oh, flipping like pepperoni, pepperoni, pepperoni. At least they make it out to be normal. It's like you know. Eat us! Or we're going mad! Sort of stuff. Who's your teacher? It's like, hi, I'm a teacher. Hi, eat me, eat me, eat me, please. Oh, you've taken my leg. Oh, ha, ha, it's so much fun. No. No, it doesn't happen that way. The lion doesn't go up to a pig or something like that and go, I'm going to eat you. And he goes, please take me, eat me. I don't like my clan. I don't like my herd. Eat me now, please, Mr. Lion. No, it doesn't happen that way. Oh, these companies are so unrealistic. It's ridiculous. It's terrible. Oh, what other food is there? What, other, what else can I moan about? Because I'm obviously very pissed off. <laughs> what other stuff is there? Milkshakes. Milkshakes. Come on. It's not a milkshake. It's a concoction of evil crap. It's essentially just this stuff just shaken together. There's no shaking involved at all. It's stirring. It should be a stirred milk. That's false advertising. What else can you guys think of? Can you think of anything else that's a bit weird or, you know, a bit strange or the packaging's a bit weird? The only packaging that I can seriously look at and think, yeah, that's actually quite a good representation of what it is, is bourbons. Bourbon biscuits. Bourbon biscuits and hobnobs. Simple packaging, called something weird that no one can compare to anything else in the world. And you know exactly what you're gonna get. And hobnobs are amazing. They're my most favourite biscuit in the world. I love hobnobs. Hobnobs are gorgeous. And nothing, nothing in this world compares to a hobnob. Hobnobs have a special place in my heart because they are so special and gorgeous and chocolatey. Ah, hobnobs. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I don't understand. Ah, this has been... Ha! <laughs> they closed off the end. Oh, you went in the other one. It's no fun. I used to go to school there. I went sixth form there. Worst two years of my life. Three years. Three years of my life because I redid one of my years. Bloody sandwiches. Ugh. It's not like you can have a snack with a sandwich either. Everyone's like, oh, have a snack, have a sandwich. If you make a sandwich, you have to take it all with you. If you make it in the morning, it just look, it just feels like absolute crap later on that day because it just everything that you put into a sandwich soaks into it. Even the ham. Bloody ham. Put ham on a sandwich and the ham will soak into the bread somehow. And then you put it in a bag and you, you take it home with you and it all squashes together and then you try to eat it and it sort of ends up sticking to your tongue and your mouth and... Wah! Bloody sandwiches. Rolls are different because rolls are crusty. And that's the other thing. You get a loaf of bread and there's two crusts. There's one at either end, obviously. And people apparently don't like those. Even if they eat the crusts on their normal slices, they don't like crusts at the end of their bread. Why not? It's the same thing! <laughs> it's the same thing, there's just a bit more of it. That tractor doesn't have his headlights on. Does he even have headlights? He does! Ah! That scared the crap out of me. That's not something you expect down this road. It's an like Buzz Lightyear. Hey, no, that's Buzz Lightyear there for you. That's what he would do. That's not riding. That's breaking with style. Oh, he wouldn't have said that, would he? Because that's just a load of bollocks. He wouldn't have said that at all. Now, it's lovely. The days are getting shorter. The nights are getting here sooner. Which means that you guys won't have much footage. It'll just be night time all the time. So, okay, look. A light. A light. A light. Red lights, normal lights, police lights. Fuck, run. No. I haven't really known what to say for the past few days. I've been a little bit 
uh, it's not even the EA ride out. I didn't actually do much talking while on that ride out because it was just me. Well, it wasn't just me, there was a group of us that went, but I don't know, I didn't feel in the mood for it. I just wanted to do some riding. Had a close call though, yeah. Yeah, I did. I was riding along, as you do. Pitter butter, pitter butter, pitter butter, pitter butter. And then I came across three cars, and I thought, oh, I'll be a little bit silly and I'll overtake. I'll overtake these three cars. I looked over my shoulder. I opened up the throttle and the second car decided no nope, i can't see anyone ahead i think i'll overtake the front car without looking in my blind spot or my mirror i may have been going a tiny bit too fast just a tiny bit you know nothing to really worry about and um yeah ended up having to slam my brakes on but i didn't slam my brakes on which is quite interesting because i saw the car moving over i didn't have much time to uh to react to it and i managed to brake really quickly and really well I didn't panic, I sort of just stuck my hand on my hip, gave them a look of unimpressedness, if that's a word, and went about my business. So I continued to go up to speed and zoom off. God, I wish these cars were going to have their windows open that they'd, you know, play music that's actually any good. Oh, God. This ain't right, people. Starting to get the sniffers. It's getting colder at night time now. But yeah, back to our main topic, food. <laughs> what other food is there? Let's see if I can think of one. Mm. Those bit. Oh, there's a there's a box of biscuits at work. Oh, I like biscuits. Biscuits are good. Did I tell you about hobnobs? Yes, I did. Um, yeah, there's a box of biscuits at work, and they're like the. The, the the broken biscuits, the ones that are left over from the factory, that all the rest, all the nice packaged biscuits are looking at them going, no, you're not good enough to come in our club. We're going to be eaten by famous people. But you, you're an offcut. You're one that hasn't been done properly, so you get to go in the shit box. Yes. I see. I end up with a a box of biscuits that's, you know for the biscuits that haven't been made properly or they're broken or something like that and you end up with all these biscuits and it's essentially a factory's leftovers and sold which is quite cool really because nothing goes to waste but at the same time it's like why would I buy these? why would I buy these these exquisite biscuits and not buy the proper ones which are sitting right next to them and are about the same price they don't taste as good. I don't know where these biscuits come from, but I have not tasted a normal biscuit that tastes the same. Maybe there's something wrong with the chocolate. But either way, I ate them all. That's what I do. I'm very good at eating biscuits and food in general. I just eat it all. I'm a strange person. It's like I've got my sun visor down right now, and it's dark. It's probably not even dark. I probably just think it's dark because the bloody sun visor's down. Oh, I'm feeling in an Eddie Izzard mood. I feel like I sound like Eddie Izzard more today than any of other videos. Got ah. into sniffles. Ah, well, almost home. But yeah, Essex Air Ambulance ride was quite good. That was quite fun. Uh, yeah, it's quite good. Uh, someone got a puncture, we had to sort that out. Ended up getting there about the right time. Ended up getting to the end destination really late. And we missed the whole thing. Because normally you have a guy there that has all the all the mayor jewellery on his neck. And he's got the bill. Welcome to Harwich. And you have to go past him and wave. And there's photographers and people cheering and waving flags. But we missed all that. Yeah, we did. Because someone got a puncture and I missed the turn off. Yes, I admit it. I went the wrong way and I missed the ending. It's crap, that's what it is. But no, I figured it would last longer at the other, at the other end. I figured that, um, you know, it would have been night time. I figured that it would have finished, you know, around about the time it is now, but it didn't. It, it finished around about four. Not even that. I was like, all right then. Just a load of us just sitting on the grass talking, and then all of a sudden the guy goes, I think I need my chairs back. But he didn't say it like that, he just walked over to us and went, ha, ha, yeah, yeah, guys, uh, yeah, in about 10 minutes I'm going to need my chairs. And he was like that, and he's like, what? Then someone said a joke in the distance, he was like, ha, ah, yeah, yeah. It's like, who are you? Why do you talk like that? I don't get it. Bumped into awfully lots of people that I didn't think I'd bump into.
and I didn't bump into anyone that I was looking for. Which is always interesting. Bumping into people that you aren't looking for, but not bumping into people that you're not looking for. I always find that interesting. I didn't turn enough there. And it refers to the EAA roundabout. Some of you might not know what the EAA roundabout is. Roundabout? Roundabout? Why am I saying roundabout? I mean to say cried out. Let's try this again. <laughs> 